So let's look at HCl again. How does HCl dissolve in water, dissociate in water, to form an acidic solution? The water molecule takes a proton away from HCl, forming H3O plus and chloride ions. Acidity is then measured by looking at the concentration of H plus, or more correctly, H3O plus in the solution. The higher the concentration, the lower the pH, which can be calculated from negative log 10 base, like negative log base 10, the concentration of H3O plus. In the process of forming H3O+, what has happened to both HCl and H2O? HCl has donated a hydrogen ion, a proton, to H2O. H2O, on the other hand, has accepted a proton from HCl. This proton movement forms the basis of an improved definition of acids and bases. Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases are defined as proton donors and proton acceptors, respectively. That means that for a reaction of, say, gaseous hydrochloric acid reacting with gaseous ammonia, it is considered an acid-based reaction because HCl donates a proton to ammonia to form ammonium chloride. It does not necessarily have to occur in water. This definition also encompasses the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases.